and we're rolling. One, Hello, everybody. Two, it is now three. time for my award ceremony, my 2015 end of end of the year ceremony, like I have been doing every year since 2013. First of all, I have five Skype guests joining me today, and Rodney1279. Hello, guys. How y'all doing? We also have Connor Mayrose. What's up, y'all? Happy New Year. Also have Hunter Dillon. Yo. We also have KMH4021, now known as LGM96. And we have the Bundy Chick. Now I know that that uh, when when I am the time that I'm filming this is 2:55 p.m. on on December 30th, and although there is still a bit of time to get some awards to get some more votes in, for now, by the time this video is posted, the polls will be closed. So if you still have some votes in, for now there is still time. But by the time this video comes in, is on is on the tube, it'll all be over. So first of all, I got a total of 14 responses. So I just want to uh, start things off with the first one. Who is the best YouTuber on my channel? And I'm going to read off the nominees outside of the other option. And I'm going to read off all nominees, actually. So anyway, let's get started. First is myself. Then it's Kyle. We also have Rodney. Yo. And that's also for nominee for best YouTuber on my channel. There's also Aubrey Scott Productions and Corey. Also have Mr. Corey Lawrence, I should say. We also have Justin271995. We also have Alex Hool on here. And next is Alex Putnam or A Pizzle Ninety. Yay. Yes. Uh. NG Two C Network. Okay. Oh, Larry. Larry Four Thousand Nine. Mister the Eleven Holler. Right. Ben S Seven Twelve Eighty Seven. Steve K1027. Alright. J Van Diesel. Woo! Our very own Connor Mayrose. Alright. And we also have Mr. Burns, Alan himself. It's Steve Burns? No, I mean the Mr. Burns from Hope. No, I mean Mr. Burns from The Simpsons. <laughs> oh, I thought he died. We also have Robo Ranger One, Tim McClellan, Four One Two Hamrock, Robin Moore, Christine Klebrowski, BJM TV Canada, Ready Unknown Fox or Jay York, MC Chap, and Adam Oliver himself. And if I did miss somebody, I apologize, but I would like to say that you could be on there for the Fourth of July celebration. Oh, wow. Okay, first of all, I'm going to start out with, rest. normally I start out with third place, but you know what? This particular one, we got two recipients for second place. Oh boy! Oh, really? Yes. Ooh. Okay. Can I get a drum roll? Okay. Our second place recipients... Got tied in at nine at uh, seven votes rather. The tires are hap happen to be me and Aubrey. I think I should also make an honorable mention that uh Rodney and Alex Putnam tied at six votes. Okay. And that's for fourth. The sad part is it's for fourth place, but I think in this situation, I don't think it should really be uh, frowned upon. 
But uh, anyway, we come to the big one. The winner of this at nine votes isn't on the Skype Please. call. I didn't Ooh. think so. Who is it? Does somebody want to take it's a guess? Gary. Gary. It's Gary. Yes, it is Gary. Gary. Oh, Gary. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yay. So, although, uh, so although we have uh, outside of myself, there's nobody out here to give a speech. So, I'm going to hand this off to, so I'm going to hand this off to Rodney, even though he got fourth place in a tie for fourth. If there's anything you'd like to say. Well, congratulations for Gary for coming in first place and, uh, good job. I'm sure that uh, I'm sure that whoever is on the Skype, I'm sure that at least a few people on the Skype call will win an award. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so anyway, let's get to the next one. Best game show host, uh, besides other nominees, are me, Rodney, Gary, Ben Mason, and Alex Hool. And if I did forget anybody, I apologize, but that's the only ones I know of so far. So this one is only going to get one award because it was only a one-choice question. And... Does someone want to take a guess? Gary? No. Is it Rodney? Rodney? Uh, that, uh, that's a logical assumption. That's a very logical assumption. And you know what? The logical... You guys said Rodney as... And I said it was a logical assumption. Oh. I'm going to tell you guys right now. Yeah, it's Rodney. Nicely done, Rodney. Thank you. Nicely done, Rodney. Thank you, Yay. Okay, Rodney, do you have something you'd like to say? Yes, I'm thankful for the people who vote for me for Tic Tac Doe for this award, and we're going to keep on having Tic Tac Doe as long as y'all guys will want to have it. Thank you, guys. Yeah, Rodney. Good job, Rod. Yes, very good job. And as an honorable mention... Who got second and third? Gary ended up third, and I got second. Oh, nicely done, man. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good second place is nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, five votes for me, two votes for Gary. <laughs> now, third nice. one. Most competitive Skype Game Show Network player. Nominees are me, Derp. Rodney, Gary, JVD, Steve, Alan, Tim, McClellan, Robo, Rondane, Ben, Spindon, and Aubrey, Alex Hool, Alex Panther, Alex Putnam, Jay, Cameron, or Chap, Justin, and Adam. Hold on, guys. I'm going to make an assumption right now that based on previous uh, episodes of Mega Fortune that I've seen with Rodney, he's very competitive. So I'm going to make an assumption that Rodney won this one. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I could be pretty competitive. I'm fine. I still managed to know my out again. I don't know. It's a tough, de tough decision, but I think it's, uh, I think it's Rodney. I think it's... Wait, hold on, guys. I, Wait, just a sec. But I think it might be me. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see, I must have gotten booted. I mean, now it's... So, oh, well, never mind. But anyway... Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and start out with... Uh, 
Well, once again, and looking at the uh, reports, we have a three-way tie for second place. Oh, Jesus Christ! Whoa! Wow. Okay. Okay. The tires are... The tires are one of... Are three of us. Oh, shit. Like I said. Uh, and who's the winner? I'll let you guys know. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, starting out. I will say, though, that one of the tires is me. Dirt. Anyway, the other two tires at eight votes are... Alex Putnam and Rodney, 2279. Right. Who's number one? I like the win. Yay. I'm very competitive a little bit, am I? Mm hmm. Ouch. I'm going to guess. There we are. One. I'm going to take a guess. Okay. Okay, but first of all, okay, first of all, first of all, before we go on, spotlights on you, Rodney. Do you have something you'd like to say? Well, um, you know, I'm going to keep on trying to do my best in these games. I was happy that I got to uh, retirement on Pressure Luck, way over $50,000 for the first time. Very happy about that. And I hope to uh, take it on to the tournament. Yes, that's right. And although that video is not up yet on my channel, I will say this right now. It took Rodney three games to do it, but he cracked $50,000. Yep. <laughs> Still the best game yet is probably Alex Hool with fifty grand in himself. In one game. One game. And Rodney, you were a witness to that. Yes. Yes, I was. I, passed, I think I passed those spins to him, and he kept on spinning, and did not get a whammy. I, I think I remember you did that with me. You and her did that with me. Yes. I kept getting spins, but I couldn't hit a whammy. And that we can all remember. The one thing we can all maybe give some laughs over, how Kyle reacted when he heard the news. And he said, oh. You beat my record! You beat my record! No one beats my record! I shall advance my record if I can! <laughs> if I die trying! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Alright, <laughs> the one! Okay. I want Okay, as I mentioned. Oh, another one. Oh, that might be Carla. Oh, great. Alright. Oh, I can still hear you. Must be a glitch. It is a glitch. Yeah. Um, just, just leave it for now. Right, just leave it alone. Yeah. yeah I despite the All fact right. that. Uh, Despite the fact that I won't get to film I'll be back in a second. people. Anyway, the winner of this at nine votes. Hey, does someone want to take a guess? Kyle. No. I don't think it's me. No. Gary. It is Gary. Oh! Well, that was a surprise. I, can, I don't know why I forgot about Kyle on this one. <laughs> I, I guess I've been, I've been MIA for, for months, I guess. Could be. <laughs> but it should be duly noted, the one who missed out on on uh, second place was actually, was actually Aubrey with six votes, unfortunately. Oh, wow. So Gary's got two awards. 
Ronnie, you've already got one. I hope you're satisfied. <laughs> I am. Yes, I am. Okay, most memorable press your luck moment. <laughs> now, some of these are guaranteed to make you crack up, because some of you guys... Now, I will say this also. Some of these moments have not made it to my channel yet. Not made it to both of my channels yet. But when they do, you will know. I did just post uh, my uh, couple more episodes from Card Sharks. I can get back in this thing. Let's run down the moments. First one is Tim McClellan winning by $60 after Allen landed on $600 when he needed $660 to win. That was the first. Second one was Allen having trouble winning his first game. And who could forget how much... And who could forget how he reacted... And the next one is Marty becoming the first player to crack $50,000. <laughs> Fourth one is Allen finally winning his first game and eventually making it to fifty grand. And the next one is Alex Hool winning 50000 in one game and going 16 whole spins without a whammy, which Rodney was a witness to, like I said earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Ronnie, do you want to tell it in your own words how it went down? Well, I was trying to set um, Alex Hull up to lose the game. <laughs> Can y'all hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, we hear you. Yeah, I was setting Alex Hull up to lose the game. <laughs> and um, um, I passed off my spin to him, and he kept spinning. And as, oh, go ahead. Yeah, I passed on my spin to him, and uh, he kept on spinning. I didn't, and he didn't just go around me. That's right. And I think that, uh, and ev in fact, uh, Steve also teamed up against, teamed up with you to pass those spins back to, uh, to Alex. And eventually, Alex managed to avoid the whammy every time. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> it seems Connor left. Oh, well. Anyway, next one is episode 24, where all three players ended up whammying out. Alex Hool, Christine, and... <coughs> I was involved in that game, wasn't I? <coughs> yes, I was just going to say Rodney before I had to sneeze. Anyway, and the last one is Gary losing his jukebox. <laughs> oh, his jukebox. Who could forget how he reacted? <laughs> Connor's making a new one, apparently. Let's get off this other call. Okay. okay. Let's uh, get off. Okay, we'll hold here, guys. All right, remember to add me. Okay, do we, are we back underway? Yeah. Yes, we are. Okay. Oh, now, I will say oh, this, though. Oh. This was a one-choice-only question, and I will say that the winner, that the recipient, goes to Alex Hool for his $50,000 win. So why don't we all give Alex Yay. Hool a round of applause? Yay! Yay. Congratulations! And you guys will see that episode. It will be number 25 soon. And Yay. just for... And you know what? You know what? Just for kicks. Kyle, why don't you say it? Uh, wait, uh, when Alex wait broke your record... <laughs>
Ben not to. You beat my record! <laughs> Okay, next one. Next one. Most memorable card sharks moment. Some of these guys, some of these episodes you may have seen on my Matthew V2 1688 gaming channel, where all my games, my Skype game show now, my Skype game shows will be. I will also be posting them to my regular channel because good news, everyone. Three days before Christmas. My copyright strike got docked. Yay! Yay! Congratulations! Thank you. Alright, Matthew! Yay! Okay, Yay. anyway. Yeah, see ya. Anyway, who do we got a who do we got for actually, you know what? Third place ended up tied at seven oh, votes. Another tie? Yes. Oh boy. And these two are recipients. Oh boy. One of the tires is episode 26, Rodney and Gary towards the dog seeing you naked question. <laughs> oh yeah, I didn't even say the nominees. Well, that's the first one. The second one is episode 22, Dad's wanting to switch places and be pregnant. Third one is episode 37, Gary's reaction to the question of how many women would divorce the husband rather than discard the pet. Fourth one is also in episode 37, Gary's and Alex Putnam's reactions to pregnant women agreeing to let their pregnancy being filmed by CBS. Fifth one is episode 38. Gary's case of giggles to 100 inmates who were asked if they were once a Boy Scout. <laughs> and Kyle, you had a, and Kyle, you had a helping hand in this. Oh no. <laughs> I'm afraid. With the really 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 And Kyle, this one is up your alley. Episode 39. Kyle's reaction to is dinner more fun than sex <laughs> question. I forgot what was my reaction again. And you were like, oh god. If you Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna play it. You know why? Because I want to. <laughs> why? Because this is my award ceremony and I can do what the hell I want. <laughs> Okay, this was episode 39, like I said, and I'm going to play this clip. Okay. We may have had this before. Yes, this is it. I'm going to put this on. Okay. You guys will see this on both my channels eventually. Anyways, here you go. Leave it to you, Kyle. All right. Kyle, we asked 100 married women, is eating dinner more fun than having sex? Oh, How many of these married God. women said yes, eating dinner is more fun than having sex? <laughs> oh, man. If you think it's more fun than uh, doing a little nasty, then I think you have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got a little problem. You think eating is more fun than fucking. <laughs> oh. 24 of 100 married women said eating dinner is more fun than having sex. Who doesn't want to have it up the butt? Uh, okay. He would say the same thing. <laughs> okay. okay, going higher, you say? Sis? And, and just for the heck of it, he is more fun. These people don't have like fucking testosterone or some shit. No sex drive. Like, 
Memory flash much? Yeah, a little bit of a flashback. That was it. Yeah. So anyway, you guys are looking for the tires for second place. Or third place, I should say. The first one I already said was Rodney and Gary towards the dog seeing you naked question. It is up. It's on my ch it's on my gaming channel. Yeah, you have to refresh me. Okay. First of all, does the dog give a blank? <laughs> oh, I said that right. Yes. <laughs> and then you ask, "Hey, Gary, I got a question for you." <laughs> okay. Has the cat seen you naked? <laughs> You can see that on episode 26. It is up on my channel. I actually posted it a long time ago. Yeah, I'm going to look at that again. <laughs> okay, anyway. The other tire... The other tire here is... At 7 votes is... Episode 37. Alex Putnam and Gary's reactions to pregnant women agreeing to let CBS film them giving birth. And Kyle, you had a hand in this one, too. Really? Yeah, when you said, Oh, there he's gone. See you later. Out of the park. It's out of here. It's out of here. And you, and you kept asking Gary about the beach ball. The beach ball. Where's the beach ball? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> so, that's your tires for third place. And the tires for wins Ooh. is the first one, episode 37, Gary's reaction to the question of women who divorce the husband rather than get rid of the pet. <laughs> and it was kind of faint, but you guys could see. It was, like I said, it was kind of faint. But you guys could see. He put the glasses down and just walked out of the room just like that. And you had a and like I said, Kyle, you had a you had a point in this too. Oh my god. Gary, we asked one hundred is a de a textbook definition of cuckoo. Wow. Gary, we asked one hundred married women with a pet. And we asked them, would you divorce your husband rather than get rid of your pet? How many of these married women said yes, they would this divorce their husband rather than get rid of the pet? Take a close look at this one here, guys. It's right on the end. Sorry, guys. We had a... Sorry, guys. You ran out of room here. Filming, anyway. Anyway, the husband rather than get rid of the pet. This is it again. <laughs> and he's gone. He's leaving the room. <laughs> and he's gone. Oh, run. Out of the park. <laughs> See you later. Bye bye. Oh, he's got the beach ball.
Well, pets, well, women love dogs, women love cats, uh, men, they get on their nerves sometimes, so I'm going to say hire. Going higher. The action number of these women who have divorced the husband is... Uh-oh. 12, it is lower, not higher. What the... All these, all these things made a little sense, you know. And, the obvious question since is, we have that video up, Jared, here you go. So just shut up. Keep the opinions to yourself. Just say it. If you have anything bad to say to me, feel like CBS film your child's birth. How many of these pregnant women said yes, they would agree to let CBS film the birth of their child? Now, just a quick thing here. I know that this did not make it to my channel, and I do apologize because I think this kind of left it a little unfair for some people who did not get to see it. That's why I'm showing it as fast as I can. I intended to do, I intended to post these videos earlier, but I got too busy and uh, ended up not going, ended up not showing it. So anyway, here's the rest. 42 of 100 pregnant women said they would agree to let CBS film their child's birth. Where's the beach ball? Garrison, higher or lower than 42. Where's the beach ball? Where's the beach ball? Oh, shit, it's broken. Thirty-seven. Season four. And the astronaut women yes. who will let CBS film their birth is thirty-eight. It is lower, not higher, just a little lower. Still. Of course, the obvious <laughs> question is, why the hell would you do that? <laughs> unless it's no secret. <laughs> unless it's no secret. Unless it's no secret, why the hell do you do that? <laughs> Oh boy, I have really got to get back to Card Sharks. Seth Allen is my champion, and I haven't even had, had much contact with him lately. Anyway, that was your winner. But I still have one more thing to show. Anyway, I have just one more thing to show, and that's the winner. Okay, here we go. This is it. This is episode 38. Gary's Case of the Giggles. Ronnie has 100 inmates. Did you used to be a Boy Scout? How many of these inmates said yes, they used to be a Boy Scout? Really? 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 And here is Gary's reaction. <laughs> My sister used to be one. Anyway, Gary, higher or lower than 30? Ha <laughs> ha! 
what I'm talking about guys oh my God. and I apologize if this didn't make it to YouTube sooner I post it but my executive editor has taken quite a bit to get back to me but I will try and post them as much as soon as I possibly can I know I'm kind of coming up on a year since I posted them but anyway that was it so there's your most memorable card sharks moment. Now most memorable pyramid moment. We only had four nominees. First one is episode four. Justin saying behind is your butt for crack to Gary. Episode three, Stephen JVD winning the winner's circle for the very first time. And episode 10, Ben and Cameron with their 600, Ben spins in and Chap with their $650,000 winner circle victory. And the last one is episode 7. Stephen JVD making it to a million dollars and retirement with a $500,000 win in the winner circle. And the winner is, there's only one, at seven votes. Episode 7, Stephen JVD with a million dollar win, with a $500,000 win in the winner's circle, making it to retirement. Alright. And since Stephen and Jay Van aren't on, just uh, go on and maybe have them, uh, I might have them say something uh, off camera away from uh, this, but uh, yeah, we'll see. I might even do the same thing for Gary, but you'll know in the, but you'll know when I post this. Next is biggest sports fan. Yay, sports! Nominees are me, Rodney, Alan Burns, Steve, Johnny V, NG2C Network, Kyle, Tim McClellan, Jerome Latimer, and Adam Oliver. And we'll start out with, uh, well, actually, you know what? We ended up with a tie for second place. Oh boy, again? Yeah. One of the tires is Tim McClellan. The other tire, hmm. at seven votes, is you, Rodney. Yes. Oh no, Ooh. actually, this is for. Oh no, actually, that's for third place. Excuse me. Oh, okay. For third place, excuse me. Oh, that's great. So, since Tim ain't on the call. Rodney, do you have something you'd like to say? Well, I'll be getting back into it soon with NASCAR. That's next month. Well, not next month, but February of 2016. I hope to keep up with it there. Yep, mm -hmm. I know my Supercross season is beginning in January. So I'll I'm hoping to have... That too. And I'm hoping <laughs> to have something to cheer about. Yeah. Okay, second place was a tie... At eight votes, or no, it was not a tie. Second place was all alone. It goes to J. Van Diesel. There's a doorbell just ring, so. All right. Just a minute, folks. Yay. Ring, ring. All right. Okay, we're back now. And uh, someone was at the door. But uh, anyway, the winner at 11 votes is... Our very own Steve Klebrowski. Yay. Right, Steve. Yay. Okay, funniest person. We are our nominees are Jerome Latimer, NG2C Network, Kyle Hershen, Rodney, JVD, Aubrey. 
Corey, Steve, and Alex Peros. And we'll start out with Holy jeez. I think we have I think we have a three-way tie for third place. And I think we do. Oh, and it's not one of you on this call. Oh, wow. Aubrey, Corey, and Steve tied at six votes. <laughs> for funniest person. Second place is Romy, Jerome Latimer. Which kind of shocked me, actually. And the winner at 11 votes is... Someone want to guess? It's not me! No. Yeah. I don't want to venture a guess, because I might be wrong. If you didn't want to just call. No. I think I've got... I think is, I've it, got is it Gary? That's a logical guess, Kyle. Yeah, you're right. It is Gary. Oh. <laughs> wow. He got, a, he got 11 votes. So Gary is just scooping up a lot of awards. Surprisingly enough. Okay. Best new face to the... And this is the last one. We only have three votes. We only have three uh, entries in this. And if I forgot anyone, I apologize. And if I forgot any categories, I apologize. But I really wanted to get this off my chest. And I only made this on the 21st. And I know the polls closed today. But by the time this video is uploaded, the polls will already be closed. Best new face to the Skype Game Show Network. We have John Flynn. Hunter Dillon and Hunter Williams. Well, actually, Hunter Dillon and Hunter Williams, they're all the same person because uh, yeah. I go by two different last names. Oh, that really? I didn't know that. I thought it was two different people. On... That's my... all depending on... Oh. You could have won twice. <laughs> so there's only going to be one winner here. <laughs> so there's only one winner because... Now, I apologize because I did not know this, okay? Oh. I thought it was two That's different right. people. Yeah, it's alright. No problem, no problem. I bet you get that a lot, do you? Anyway, I'll tell you right now, it ain't John Flynn. So, oh, at least... Oh, I won! Yeah? Yay, Yay Hunter! It's good, right? Yay! I'd like to thank the Academy. No, 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 no. Uh, wow. Let me, tell you, let me tell you something, guys. I've only been on Skype, what, like maybe, I don't know, three months or so? And already I, I could not have imagined how many friends I've made. Matthew, Connor, all these people on the call. I want to thank you guys for your generous support, not just for me, but for my channel. Yay. And for you know my videos and stuff, I want to thank you guys so much. It's a it's a pleasure and an honor. And thank you, Matthew. No problem. Yay. So that's it. That's that concludes my awards ceremony. And the last oh, one was nice. just to say who who voted in. And I already got fourteen. No, and I got fourteen people who did go in. I know I didn't vote, but you know what? I can't because it's my own. So anyway. So anyway, congrats everybody. Happy 2016 to you. I'll see you guys when I do this on July 4th, 2016. Oh, you just had to do that, huh, Kyle? I know Gary got about, what, six awards? Yeah. And I know Rodney and he... Sp and I know Gary and Rodney did split a couple awards. Yeah. So those of you who didn't win, that's all right. You'll probably get a win yeah. eventually. I just got to think of... I just got to have yeah, some good uh, subjects to think of. Eventually. Oh, yeah. Hard. 
Yeah. Yeah. You know what, Matthew? Oh, I don't want to answer your call, damn it. Who's that? I hope I get a nomination for two of my shows next time. Uh, Sale of the Century or Sunday Night Delight. I hope I get a nomination for one of those next time. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully I'll All get right. nominated or something. So anyway, that will do for now. And thank you guys for watching. See, See you guys in 2016 and Happy New Year. Yay!